If you are a Google Chrome user looking for faster downloads, smoother browsing and better security, you can't miss this tutorial. Today, I'm sharing some hidden Chrome flag settings that you need to change right now to boost your browser's performance, privacy and experience. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an update. Let's get started. Now, what are Chrome flags? Chrome flags are experimental features that allows you to unlock powerful tweaks and customizations for your browser and they are hidden by default. But once enabled, they can enhance your Chrome experience in many ways you never thought possible. Let's go on to learn how to access Chrome flags. Now, to enable these hidden features, open your Chrome browser and in the address bar, type in chrome colon double four slash flags and then you hit enter on your keyboard. Then you will see a page with all the experimental settings. Now, here are the 8 must enabled Chrome flags. The first flag is Tab Audio Muting UI Control. Type in Tab Audio. And then the Tab Audio Muting UI will pop up. Now, what is the function of this flag? Ever had an annoying website start blasting audio? This flag lets you mute tabs directly without visiting the website, assuming I open a video on YouTube. Bad As you timing, can see, the video is playing and then I head to another website and I would want to mute this audio without Today, heading to the YouTube tab. You right see the audio icon here. The you can deserve, click on it to mute it. But because I've not enabled this tab audio UI, when I warfare. click on the mute icon, nothing happens. So I'll just go back and then enable this tab audio muting UI and then click on relaunch Chrome. Now let's see if I can mute the video without heading to the website. Ever feel like you As you can see, we have the audio icon here. Released. And I click on it, you can see the audio have been muted. When you see a speaker sign icon on tabs that play audio, and with a single click, you can mute them instantly when you enable this flag. It's quite simple. The second flag to talk about is the parallel downloading. Type in parallel downloading, and then the flag will pop up. Now, this is a game changer if you download large files frequently. The function of this flag is that it splits download into multiple connections, significantly accelerating the download speed. Whether you are downloading movies, software or documents, enabling parallel downloading will make a huge difference. So you just have to click on the default for a drop down and then you click on enabled. Click on relaunch and then this flag will start taking effect. The next flag is camera and mic preview. Type in camera and mic. For the effect to pop up now with this flag it lets you preview your camera and mic settings before granting permission to a website and to enable this flag click on the default for a drop down and then click on enable then you click on relaunch then i'll head to a website to record my audio so the next time i visit a site and then let's say i'm trying to record my voice when i try to record my audio the site will ask for a permission for camera or mic access and you can choose the device directly from the permission bubble now the next plug is one time permission type in one time permission into the search bar this feature lets you grant temporary access to your camera mic or location instead of a permanent access you can choose allow this time for more privacy so assuming i want to record my audio one more time and then I click on the record button. I'll get this message saying allow this time or never allow. So with the one time permission enabled, you can click on allow this time for a temporary access to your camera, mic or location. The next flag to talk about is smooth scrolling. Type in smooth scrolling into the search bar. This flag or feature makes scrolling through web pages smoother and more responsive. Some users experience stutter or lag. So you can toggle this flag to see what works best for you. To enable this, click on the default for the drop down and then click on enable and click on relaunch. After that, you will experience or you will notice that scrolling has become much smoother and then with no lags. In other words, this flag improves scrolling experience. Now, the next flag is Chrome Refresh 2023. Type in Chrome Refresh 2023 into the search bar or the search address bar. Now for this flag, if you want to try out Chrome's latest design refresh, this flag brings new visuals and improved interface tweaks to your browser. Most people's Chrome browser might be using the old interface, but if you enable this flag, you'll get new visuals and improved interface to your browser. And to enable this, just click on the default for the drop down and then click on enable and then click on refresh. Now, if you're on the latest version of the Chrome browser, you will not see any difference because the Chrome Refresh 2023 have already been updated in the new updates or the latest version of Chrome browser. 
but if you are using old versions, when you enable this flag, you get to see the new interface or the new look of the Chrome browser. Now, the next flag is Chrome Wide Echo. Type in Chrome Wide Echo into the search bar. Now, the function of this flag is if you do audio recording or video conferencing through Chrome, this flag will help reduce echo and improve audio quality. And to enable it, just click on the default and then click on the enable from the drop down and then click on the relaunch. And then you will have noise cancellation during conferencing through audio or recording on Chrome browser. Now, on to the last flag, which is tab scrolling. Type in tab scrolling into the search bar. For this flag, if you often have too many tabs open, this flag is for you. Assuming I open many tabs on my Chrome browser, you get to see the tabs are being shrinked into tiny icons. But if I head to the Chrome Flags menu and then enable this flag, we get to see a different effect. And to enable this, click on the default for a drop down. You get to see a list of options. We have enabled, enable tab shrink to pin tab width, tab shrink to medium width, tab shrink to a large width, and then, and then enable tab down shrink. So make sure you choose the enable tabs down shrink and then you click on relaunch. And then now you'll be able to scroll through the tabs instead of shrinking them into tiny icons. No more shrinking with this flag. You get to see the tabs are grouped neatly and you can navigate easily by clicking on the arrows icon. These hidden chrome flags can make a huge difference in your browsing experience. Whether you want faster downloads, better privacy or smoother interface, these settings are worth exploring. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. Your support means a lot and helps me create more awesome content for you all. Let me know in the comment section which flag you like the most and I will see you in the next video.